In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a glitch transition in Adobe After Effects. It'll be super easy and fun to create. Hope you like it. Enjoy the video. I have two videos here that I want to transition between. Let's begin by creating a map layer that would drive the entire glitch transition. For that, let's go to layer new solid. I'm going to call it map. At the color doesn't matter. Click OK. Then go to the effects and presets window. Search for fractal noise and add it to the solid layer. Then head over to the effect controls. Set noise type to block then contrast to 400, complexity to 2, open the transform drop down, and check uniform scaling, set scale width to 600, scale height to 5, then open the evolution options drop down, hold the alt key on the keyboard and click on the random seed stopwatch, and then type time asterisk 100. And now we have an animated map layer that we can use to create glitches. Let's close it down and hide it because we don't need to actually see it. Let's create an adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer. Let's trim the adjustment layer down to 10 frames in length. The easiest way to do that would be to place the playhead in between the videos where the cut happens and move 5 frames to the left. Then bring the start point of it and align it with the playhead. Then move back to the cut point and this time move 5 frames to the right and bring the end point of the adjustment layer. Now once your adjustment layer is ready, you can go to effects and presets window, search for motion tile, add it to the adjustment layer then search for displacement map, also add it to the adjustment layer. Then head over to the effect controls, ignore the motion tile for now, let's focus on displacement map. So right here where it says displacement map layer, click the drop down and select the map that we've just created. Then for the source, click the drop down and select the effects and masks. You can already see the effect taking place. Then you can choose the horizontal and vertical displacements. As you drag these, you can see that the image gets distorted. So I like to use the horizontal displacement, so I'm going to set vertical displacement to zero and increase the uh, horizontal displacement. And you can see the black spots that we don't want to see. That's where we use motion tile. So let's increase the output width to 140 and set mirror edges. You can see those black spots are gone. Now let's uh, go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and create a keyframe for max horizontal displacement at 50. Then cl click U to see the keyframes down here. Then go two frames forward, set max horizontal displacement to 200. That makes it more distorted as you can see then move two frames forward select the keyframes press ctrl c ctrl v to paste them all we're doing here is just switching between the values of 50 and 200 to create a variation let's do that one more time from the last keyframe go forward two frames press ctrl v to paste the keyframes again and that's one of the main parts of the transition done now we're going to select the adjustment layer then go to edit duplicate or press ctrl d as a shortcut delete displacement map from the second adjustment layer you can leave the motion tile Go to effects and presets, search for tint, add it to the second adjustment layer. Then search for emboss, also add it to the second adjustment layer. Then head over to the effect controls. For the tint effect, you want to map black to a red color. Then map white to a bright blue like this. Then for the emboss, set the direction to negative 135 degrees. Increase the relief to 20. And then you want to click on toggle switches and modes until you see the modes column and set the second adjustment layer's mode to hard light. And as you can see that adds an RGB overlay on top of your glitch, which looks really cool. Now let's select the second adjustment layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and set its mode back to normal. Then select all effects and remove them by pressing delete. Head over to the effects and presets window, search for invert, add it to the third adjustment layer. Then search for exposure, also add it to the third adjustment layer. And here we're going to do the same thing that we did with the displacement map keyframes. And we're going to match the keyframe placements of all the effects together. Make sure you are at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Then create a keyframe for blend with original for invert, set it to 100%. Also create a keyframe for exposure and set it to 2. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Move forward 2 frames. Set blend with original to 0% and set exposure back to zero. Now select all four keyframes that you have. Move forward two frames, Control c Control v to paste them in here. Then let's do that again from the last keyframe, move forward two frames, and press Control v to paste those again. And once you have all the keyframes laid out like this, you can drag and select them all, right click any of them, and choose toggle hold keyframe. And this will finalize the glitch transition. You can go ahead and preview it, see if you like it or not. In case if you think that it is not distorted enough, you can always go back to the first adjustment layer with the displacement map effect on it. Select the displacement map, 
and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So the more duplicates you create, the more distorted the image will get. As you can see, you can create as many copies as you want. Uh, I'll just keep it to two because, well, I don't like it too distorted. So two would be enough. Let's do one more preview. And that looks really cool in my opinion. Let me guys know what you think about it. And in case having this many layers is too disturbing for you, you can pre-compose them into a separate layer. You'd probably need to trim the map solid layer to match with the adjustment layers though. So let's do that quickly. So bring in the endpoints to match with the adjustment layers. Then select all layers. Right click any of them and select pre-compose. You can call this whatever you want. I'll just name it glitch. Click OK. Once you do that, you'll see that the transition disappears, but that is fine. Click on toggle switches and modes until you see this column right here. And enable continuously rasterize icon for the glitch so that the adjustment layers inside of the pre-comp can affect the videos outside of it. And you can see that the glitch transition is back and working. You can actually duplicate this transition or this composition and, you know, have multiple glitches in case you feel like that. But more on that in a separate video that I'm working on and we'll post it soon. So let's remove that and preview the transition. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new in this video. If you did, please do not forget to leave a like under this video. That really helps out the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.